the Joint Multi-Role Tech Demonstrator Program is a teaming of 12 industry teammates along with the U.S. government in building a tech demonstrator for the future vertical lift program or record. The requirement for that is to fly and build a, or build and fly a tech demonstrator that will inform and reduce risk for a program of record uh, on the timeline that the government is currently showing. Our current status of build is 65% build is being built up in Amarillo, Texas. And what we have here is a, a, the sister or exact duplicate of our engineering simulator that we use that back at Bell Helicopter in order to uh, take care of flight controls, the architecture, and all of the uh, engineering items that we need, content, in order to put that into our actual aircraft. The software that I'm flying right here has all of the redundancy management and all of the flight control laws that we will actually fly on the aircraft, and it is the ground run uh, software. It's currently undergoing top, uh, triple lab tie-in high-level testing right now. So what you're flying is current as of this month and is what we're going to go fly with take the ground run. It, is, it a, is it a lot different to fly the 280 than, say, the V-22? Yeah, that's a very good question. It's actually two di completely different air vehicles. Uh, the V-22 is a great aircraft. It's a completely different category size-wise as V-280. The V-280 is a Class three aircraft, which that puts it in kind of a medium lift category, uh, much that is in kind of a medium lift helicopter category. The difference is our air vehicle uh, that we believe we're using tilt rotor, we can still meet level one handling quality, rate frequencies and bandwidths in the low speed environment, which is very rare to have anywhere uh, in any of the aircraft that are fielded across the world, but also I can do it with uh, convert into the airplane mode and go twice the speed, twice the range, and still have all that performance. So I can do everything the helicopter can, and I can still convert out to, a, to an airplane and have an infinitely variable air vehicle configuration that has a lot of utilitarian uses. Does the demonstrator feel like flying the real aircraft? The demonstrator will be the real aircraft. The simulator, yes. Uh, it, we don't have certain things, obviously. We don't have a full motion simulator. We have a v different visual environment, so it is very similar. What we do have great confidence in is our aero model, which is about 40 years worth of closed loop flight test data that Bell has had proprietary. Uh, and we've utilized the data from all of the history of tilt rotor dating back all the way uh, just after X th uh, XV3 in the 60s. Data from all of those different tilt rotors have gone into that aerodynamic model, which becomes the more the core of our flight control uh, model that we actually design our flight controls around. What will this technology demonstrator actually be used for? This technology de demonstrator will be utilized in order to do a couple things. One, prove out our, tech our um, technologies that we put into the air vehicle. What we've done with the technologies, those technologies that either uh, you know, helped out operational readiness, increased low speed agility, or decreased cost are the kind of the technologies that we put into our, our air vehicle. So there is co significant configuration difference between this particular tilt rotor and previous generations. It's a pylon over wing configuration, so the maintenance is a little bit different. The engines do not rotate, they are stationary, uh, and then you can do piecemeal maintenance on that as you would so desire. Additionally, we've increased the control power significantly from prior tilt rotors in order to uh, meet those level one handling qualities as requested by the government.